So Mark mentioned in the introduction that uh, there's sort of a, uh, an idea of sort of an upper level thinking about how, how these things were put together and how they're thinking about the questions now. One of the things that they got a lot of complaints about were these uh, question types that took rote memorization, uh, that they weren't really meaningful to an architect who you know, can look up uh, something that's just a simple rote memorization type. Like you don't need to know that, you just need to know how to look it up. Um, and so that concept was showing up a lot in the exam and people were just unhappy with that. And so they have a very strong desire to sort of move away from that. So the way that they think of that, this is called uh, Bloom's taxonomy. Bloom was a guy who thought a lot about how, uh, how we think and how we make decisions. And it's apparently the sort of base way that a lot of people uh, think about how questions are made for, um, uh, for all sorts of different topics, not just architects. So those kind of, that kind of rote memory elements that's really down here in the sort of remember zone. Uh, and so you can kind of draw a line across uh, there and think, all right, this stuff, that's all stuff that you should probably know, uh, but it's not, uh, it's not something that you need to like think that the questions are going to be about. So you're not gonna get a question that says, uh, how many square feet is an acre, right? Um, I always get it mixed, is it 43,560, I think, something like that, uh, right? But you're not gonna get that, that kind of question. That's just a remember question. So the bottom of the pyramid, there may be some big advantages of being able to remember easily, that you don't have to spend time looking it up or finding some of, that you have that information at your fingertips. So it doesn't mean don't remember things. What it means is you're not gonna get that as a direct question. And then the other thing that you're not gonna get <clears throat> you're not going to get anything that says, okay, make a design. The create thing, the top of this pyramid, that's that hardest thing to do. That's that, you know, all the, the you know, energies it takes to be an architect. This exam is not testing you to see if you're a brilliant architect. It is not meant to see uh, if you know everything or if you can make something beautiful. Right? It's not about the creation end of things. It's not about even the idea of doing original work. Uh, the exam is about competency. It's about being able to take information, understand what the issues are that are related to it, use those issues, and be able to then kind of take them to a little bit of a higher level of being able to evaluate and really sort of understand the impact uh, of, those, of that set of decision making. So uh, the exam is going to be about these middle four ideas. Understand, apply, analyze, and evaluate. And of those, there's gonna be a line right through the middle there. And so we're gonna have the upper level of evaluate and analyze. And those are gonna be the types of questions where you really have to uh, make a judgment. You have to make a leap. So there's a bunch of information and that information is very useful in terms of understanding what to do. But now it's not just uh, that here's the obvious right answer. I have to actually think about it and say, is this the best answer? Is this something, do I understand this as uh, something that I could justify given the information that I've been given? So I am analyzing it beyond just knowing what the reasonable answer is. And that's versus some of the lower ideas about apply and understand. So apply and understand is, you know, you should sort of basically understand a bunch of uh, aspects of architecture uh, that uh, if I'm looking at a uh, plumbing riser diagram, uh, I should uh, be able to say, yes, there should be a clean out uh, at the point where the stack uh, turns and goes uh, towards the sewer in the street. Right, something like that, that's a sort of apply and understand. I should understand that there should be a clean out. I should be able to apply that piece of knowledge that I know. It's not just a remembering thing because it's not like uh, you know, just a number. I have to actually understand how uh, the plumbing generally works. 
uh, and that I should be able to, to sort of say, yeah, there should be a clean out right there. So those are considered the kind of lower level applying uh, what's in, what you need to know in terms of being a competent architect. And then the evaluate and analyze are considered these upper level thinking. And that's where I'm moving beyond just knowing something and I'm making judgment calls, right? So maybe I have a complicated situation and now like, do I put in a clean out? Is there a clean out? Like that becomes a sort of harder evaluation. So you'll notice that uh, when I over here in the notes on the side, there'll be some upper level and then there'll be many understand and apply. So the way that this is sort of generally broken down is that most of the questions will fall into the bigger part of the triangle. And then a fewer bunch of the questions will fall into the evaluate and analyze. Uh, so it won't be a situation where you have to constantly be justifying uh, all of your decisions. It won't be a situation where everything is all about analysis. And it also won't be a situation that you by accident will get all of just the hardest questions. You know, you're not going to get a hundred evaluate questions. Uh, they have set it up in such a way that every time uh, there's a new form, every time you get a new grouping, that each of the uh, question types, each of the questions themselves have been given uh, a sort of rating and that that rating applies to this triangle. And so that rating means that you'll get a certain number that are apply and understand and you'll get a certain number that are evaluate and analyze. You won't get any of the direct memory and you won't get any of the create. And I think, <clears throat> I mean, be good to get your thoughts on this, Mike, but you know, when you look at this triangle, um, one of the keys I think is, is, is to realize that it builds right, that the, these levels of, of understanding um, build upon each other. So in order, in order to sort of have a, an apply level, right, you have to already have an, a, the remember level and the understanding level. So they all kind of build on each other. Absolutely. The other thing is, <clears throat> I mean, I, I think that also kind of means that the apply and understand are arguably maybe a little bit easier and a little bit less in depth than, uh, or require a little bit less deep of an understanding compared to the evaluate and analyze. So if you look through NCARB's exam guides for each of their exams, they have all the objectives laid out that they're assessing you on. And each objective has an EA, or I think it's a EA and then AU or U, I don't know if I might have yeah, it backwards. Yeah, I think it's e EA and UA or something like that. But yeah. those stand, but you'll, you'll see, now that you know this, you'll, you'll yeah, recognize it. EA stands, you know, for evaluate and analyze. So it'll be, you know, they're, they're going to be focusing on those types of uh, evaluation there. And then they're going to be, you know, the, the AU or the ones that, um, you know, uh, are applying to understand, which I think if you're a test taker, what does that mean? Well, that means that maybe those objectives that are evaluate and analyze, man, you really, you need to know them really, really well. Um, the apply and understand ones, I mean, you need, you need to know them better than, you know, uh, what kind of brick is this? Is it a, you know, a standard brick or, or not? Um, which is more of a remember kind of, kind of level. Um, but it's not as massively in depth as the evaluate and analyze might be. Right? And Do different, you yeah, absolutely. And different objectives, uh, different portions of the exam will f will get weighted more towards evaluate and analyze, and other ones will be weighted more towards uh, apply and understand. Like for example, um, you might get uh, a number of apply and understand questions that are very sort of structural calculation type situations where you need to sort of understand how to do some parts of it but you're not really going to be expected to do a structural analysis on a building, right? That's, that's beyond the scope of what's expected uh, uh, in this situation. But you might be required in a different uh, objective to have a series of pieces of information that have been given to you, analyze those, and decide where the building should be built, right? Where you're given a uh, a soils plan and your and a soils report and some other information and you should be able to look through make uh, reasonable decisions find out of the choices that you have available to you what's the sort of the most logical one where it's not going to be a straightforward thing you just have to be able to analyze that and make it a, a reasonable decision from that so it's not that in structures you wouldn't ever get anything in the higher level 
it's that they'll be spread out in different parts of the exam. So absolutely, it's very useful to sort of take a look at those uh, objectives, and that should really help your sort of, you know, guide you through uh, what you're uh, thinking about when you're doing some studying, about whether you really need to know these sort of abstract ideas, or whether it's just about sort of understanding what the rules are and recognizing formulas and, you know, right. things like that. Which makes me remember minimum competency. Yes. That's all they're assessing you on. You don't have to be an expert. On Just anything. On, even the evaluate and analyze, right. they're assessing you on minimum competency. So. Right. Are you a competent architect? It is not about design. No. And in fact, it couldn't be about design. Like, imagine it was about design. Think about how mad you would be if it was about design. Because they would have a very different design idea than you, and it would drive you crazy. It's not about that. Don't even think about the idea of the word beauty or design or anything like that. Uh, if those words come up in your brain while you're taking the exam, just get up and walk out because it's too late. You've already you, you've already lost it. Yeah, it's not. It's about competency. It's not about any of those those kinds of issues. Mm -hmm.